Hello everyone, good day. How you all doing? Hope you're good. Um, welcome to the Academy of Digital Learning and Mastery ADLM Studios. And in this video, I will be like putting us through a guide on how the training is going to go. Because we are having a training that will be coming up on the 7th of July 2020. And to be an online training session where everyone will get to benefit or how to make use of BIM tools and understand what BIM is in general. Okay, so I mean myself and your host, cousin Mamela Idolapo, and the chief training officer at ADLM Studios, where you will be learning a lot about BIM in the coming minutes. Stay tuned to the end. Kindly like this video, subscribe to this channel, as more info will be coming up on BIM regularly. Now, for the training out for the outline of this video. I'll be talking about the training overview as what this training will be about. I'll be giving us through a brief intro of what BIM is about, then how to understand what we call the 4D workflow, the 5D workflow, and the conclusion. So these are things we'll be covering in the next few minutes. I won't take much of your time and I hope you learn a lot from this session. Okay, now the Academy of Digital Learning and Mastery ADLM Studio is a training academy that teaches everyone how to make use of BIM tools no matter who you are where you're from your profession and all as a BIM manager you should be able to understand the flow of all of these BIM tools right from the 1D to 6D basically this training will be covering just the 4D and 5D aspect of BIM so now for this training what we'll be looking into throughout the course of this training is the introduction to BIM, which will be taught during the course of the live training. Then, introduction to ISO standards, that's the ISO 19650 standards, what is about, the rules that are there, the abbreviations, the codes, and all, all that will be explained during the course of the training. Then, you'll be learning about 4D and 5D BIM during the course of this training. I'll introduce you to it. Then, I will put you through what 4D BIM is in details. Then 5D BIM also will go into that in details. Then I'll be teaching us at, how to mix at least three BIM tools. Mm. Based on the registration and all, we'll see the tools that most QS and construction AEC professionals would want to learn about the most. So it's based on that we'll pick the top three that will be taught during the course of this training. Don't worry, it will be a very interesting one. Next, we'll be talking about how to make you how to create your own custom templates. That's the 2d to 5d templates how to create your own cost model and your time model for your own project we'll be discussing that also during the training and then how to prepare your own project cash flow forecast now when we talk of bim it's not just about what we are going to do pre-project or pre-construction but how to apply this during construction and post-construction so i'll be teaching you how to prepare your own project cash flow so just don't worry then we'll be discussing the ADLM plugin also during the training. What the ADLM plugin is about, I'll give you a demo of this plugin and you'll see how this plugin can actually help you to work faster with all of the softwares. Then, we all read this. I'll put you through on how to create a freelance account that's on Fiverr and Upwork and you can get freelance jobs. This of you just waiting at the office all day for your salary and all. There are ways you can use the knowledge of BIM to get freelance jobs online and you apply it and you see you work faster and more accurate then you get a certificate of participation at the end of this training next we'll be talking about BIM understanding what BIM is now it most what will come to most many of your mind is okay what is BIM we've been in BIM for a very long time is BIM just me coming to my software and making use of one software or just using the software for own specific practice or so no that's not what BIM is about now BIM means building information modeling which is a process of creating and managing information for a built asset as explained by Autodex now if you want to hear of BIM many of you will feel like oh BIM is just you creating a 3d model for your work or getting a 2d model and making use of one BIM software or so no that is not it at all like that is just a tip of the iceberg now, when we talk of BIM, BIM is like you it bringing professionals together and creating a language that everyone can understand in the construction team and the project team. That all what you do is you all you all come together, 
you create like this kind of workflow during this workflow you will understand that oh this is everyone's responsibility now at the pre-project stage that's the construction stage at all you all the project team have come together they've gone through the 3d model and this 3d model has information every information of all of this aspect of the building at all everyone is every professional has been delegated with their own specific responsibility the person that will do the interior design the exterior design the structural design the mechanical and electrical design all these have been created in different models now we are bringing all these things together that is what bim explains uh, that's what it teaches us that okay all the project teams are coming together on a single platform where they can share ideas and work together so that is what bim is about not just making use of one software also but the process of creating and managing information that means every information you create the information that is using these bim tools you will create those information now how are you going to manage those information for that project that is what bim is about okay now you have to understand that there's a bim workflow uh, bim workflow involves the understanding and integration of all the project information then bringing all this to store in a single location that can be accessible to all of the project team that is one thing you should take note of having your bim information for your project is not just having this bim information alone but how accessible it is because during the course of the training you'll learn more about accessibility to bim how you can go about the workflow how you can understand how these tools and everything will work together mm? that's one of the things you'll be learning in the training how you to save your files how to use the ISO 1960 standard to understand the code of every information the AIR, AIR and all, all of that will be explained during the course of this training also now the platforms where you can use to bring your workflow together to have this kind of workflow integration of the entire project team includes the Autodex doc then we have the Google Drive and the OneDrive now Autodex has created a kind of platform where everyone can come together also because we know Autodex being the major frontier in the BIM world and has been trying their best to actually make all of our construction works become very digital like the pre-project pre pre-construction and post-construction stages all of this should become digital and everyone should be able to flow together work together and all mm -hmm. now Autodex now created a kind of doc where in these docs, which you can see here, you can see how you have all the files saved on that docs. Now, once you use any of this software, once you create a model and you save it, it saves automatically to the server. That's the Autodoc, Autodex docs. Now, once it gets to that server and it saved it there, any other person that needs that particular information can easily go there and open it and access it. That oh, this is what the architect was saying at this specific time. About this specific item so if you are on site and the architect is not around you can easily get to the model and see oh this is what this person is saying because the model has been detailed enough it has been explained enough it has been created in a way that you all can actually see it and all members of the project team can see all of this and use all of this to make sure there is a reduction in risk to make sure that there's a reduction in cost overrun and all of that so all those information are stored in this Autodex docs here we also have the google drive also where you can also upload your model your cost model your time model and all all on this google drive so everyone can get access to that all members of the project team can give you access to that and they can always go through it then we have the one drive also it performs the same function now for the workflow i've explained what the BIM is in general and I'm sure many of us are familiar with the 3D model and all now the training would lay more emphasis on 4D workflow now when you hear of 4D what comes to your mind 4D is the integration of time into your project planning hmm? when you're bringing the time factor into the planning now you've gone through the process of doing the sketch which is the 2D design and it has been you've gone through the process of creating the model 
all things to our architect that have done that for us to create the model and all now how do we attach time to this project how do we understand that oh within this time to this time this project will be completed and all this can be achieved by understanding the list of activities that will be carried out on that project that's creating a work breakdown and understanding that okay after you created your work breakdown you will now apply to that model that's theory. that's moving from 3d to 4d attaching duration and all so during the course of this training you will learn how to create your own 4d model and understand how to make use of this bim tools for 4d creation now the tools that will be used for creation of 4d model includes the microsoft excel the microsoft project the autodex revit and navis works now all of these four tools are different tools from different company but there's a way they work together to achieve the aim of creating a 4d workflow understanding that not all softwares can be used on its own for example excel you can also use excel to create your 4d can chart yes you can use excel to create your work breakdown structure then create the 4d can chart and you can also use microsoft project also to create your work breakdown structure and 4d can chart they can also use revit so it's not like you have to get all of these softwares at the same time but there is a flow between project revit and navis excel revit and navis so there's a workflow between all of these softwares now with revit and navis you can now bring in your 3d model then attach a time flow directly to those 3d model which is based on the, from your csv file or your pmp file that you've gotten from either excel and project so you can now get those information that you've created that you've modeled in excel or project then you bring it into your navis works or revit to see to have a 4d timeline for your project so that's how you add, create your 4d model and you attach it to your 3d model to have a complete understanding of your 4d so all of this will be taught during the course of this training then 5d workflow also when we talk of 5d workflow this is the integration of cost into our project planning it's not just the 3d model that we have now it's not just creating a bill of quantities of also but how do we now into add that cost information into the project that is what 5d is about so quantification process costing process cost management process and all are all under the 5d workflow that's something i want us to understand 5d workflow is not just you um, saying you want to add costs to your uh, model and all but how do you create this cost these are processes that these are thought processes that will be explained during the course of this training and we'll go into detail with now the tools that will be we'll be making use of to achieve this includes the plant swift software the cost tech software the revit software the bluebeam revo navis works now these are the current 5d softwares that we have on ground that does not mean you have to know everything that does not mean you have to use everything at the same time well how do we extract quantities from our model in the fastest time and the most accurate way possible those are where these tools comes in tools like plant swift cost x and bluebeam can extract quantities from your 2d drawings hmm? you can use these tools to pick quantities faster from your 2d drawing so it's not like you have to use plant swift cost x and bluebeam at the same time no these are different companies these are different softwares they have their own pros and cons also which you will learn during the course of the training but i want you to understand that all of these softwares help you to achieve that aim of 5d with the use of plan swift you can easily pick do your digital takeoff and pick your quantities with the use of cost x and revel you can easily load in your 2d drawings there 2d drawings such as pdf autocad drawing image drawing and most others all of these drawing can be brought in into your so tools and softwares and you would pick the quantities yourself now once you pick the quantities you can now attach the cost to it then apply to your 3d model now using what we use to do this application of this cost formation to 3d model you can use the autodex revit and navis works 
also yes so you can now bring all of your information you've picked you extracted the quantities you've done your estimation to attach the cost to it then you can now pick your cost and quantities together to get the actual con projected construction cost for that project and now you go into management and all all of this will be explained in details during the course of the training so the training is going to be a fully packed training where you understand more about bim you understand that bim is not just using the software alone but understanding the standards that have been created from the 19 from the iso 919650 standards and how to use that into your cost model to create your own complete model that means you have your own 3d model the 4d aspect and the 5d aspect all of this will be taught during the course of the training i hope you understand so that will be all for this training so you can enroll now as soon as possible to get all of this knowledge at the cheapest cost possible you can always reach out to me at on my email at dollar at gmail.com or you can always look up up at adlm studios on facebook linkedin and instagram and youtube you can always check for adlm studios and you can always chat up our admin day and they will always reply you and give you process to register for this training the training is a fully packed one and i don't think you would want to miss this because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity that will be all for tonight thank you very much for your time have a wonderful day